build our website, we are going to need uh, to use the Visual Studio Community 2015. And you can find that on the Microsoft uh, website. It's for free. And once you've uh, downloaded it and installed it, uh, just go ahead and add a new project. And in, the, in this menu, just uh, in this Visual C Sharp, you can find web. And you can find the .NET framework and name the uh, uh, project like uh, shopping store. You just uh, browse where you want to put it. We're going to be put maybe on the uh, documents, just on the documents. And click OK. And in here, just use the MVC because that's what we are going to do use. And uh, just click OK. And if you if this popped out, if you have an Azure account, you can just set it up. If you don't, just click Cancel. And let's create the project for us. So in the previous section, we talked about the MVC architecture, Model View Controller. In this section, we are going to take a little bit deeper into the controller phase. What is the controller? So when you go into your browser and type in Google, for example, what happens is, what happens is that you, the user, you are making a request to the server, and the server is able to respond back to that request in some server in logic. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to build our first store controller for our online shopping store. This controller is going to be used as a thing page for, it's going to list the, the categories like uh, electronics, furniture, accessories, all the categories that we have in our store. It's also going to list the items or products in each of in every of those categories. Like, uh, we have phones. We have laptops in electronics, and we have like shares tables in uh, furniture, and so on. And also, is going we are going to use it to uh, show us details about each and every one of those items. So, uh, one phone is made uh, by Sony, another by, made by Apple, and so on. So let's go into the controller here and click and click Add. Let's choose here MV35 controller and MT1. And here, let's name it store controller. So this is the ASBMVC convention is to name the controller store, which is like the name of our controller, and then the controller name. Click add. As you can see here, it already made us index method. Also, the store controller drives from controller. What is the controller that we are driving from is going to provide us with some helper methods that we are going to use in our controller. Every controller should derive from controller. We are, what we are going to do with index, let's add two other methods that we are going to use to browse the categories to show details about them. So let's go here and two other methods. Um, browse. Let's go this here. Let's return hello from browse. And let's do index here. All right. Let's copy that. Click here details. Let's check on how it works, how the con our controller is going to work. So let's, let's, build, let's also change the index method. Let's make it string and hello from index. Right, everything seems right. Let's just, oh, okay. Let's build. We are going to see how the, our controller is going to work in the browser. So let's just build this on our application. So yeah, let's here browse into store. So as you can see here, it showed us hello from index. 
let's go and in browse hello from browse so as you can see now we are able to make a request to the controller to our server the server is able to respond back with some uh, response here we uh, made the response to be hello from browse or hello from index or whatever so now we are going to use uh, to make a uh, Browse uh, return us a, a, quer uh, a string within our qu uh, query that we make. So we want to get uh, to the uh, electronics category, for example. We put in our uh, row here, we put uh, the category the electronics. So how we are going to do, to do that? So let's go here and type in string and category. Let's go here and say HTML code. Let's go here. So what is this? What what is this? Actually, is that we are uh, sanitizing the query string that user is inputting. So what does that mean? Actually, is that we are protect our controller uh, from being hacked or someone maybe javascript link uh, in our uh, url here and he is able to do something in our website so this uh, important for you passing a query to the controller so let's type here showing uh, category let's just here the category that we inputted Here, let's go show message. Right. Let's just okay. Oh, this one here. Now let's go ahead and build this. Go here, browse. Here, browse. Um, category equals. As you can see here, showing category electronics. So we were able to pass some query string. Here we pass the electronics. We showed us showing category electronics. Let's do the same. So now let's do the same thing for details. Let's go ahead and put here uh, int id. Uh, we are not going to use the HTTP utility HTML encode here because it's not going to be as a query string. We're going to embed it as a parameter. Let's see here string which equals for and details is going to show us the the ID and let's go here and Now, build this and run it. And here we're going to store our details. And here, like five. Let's just close those here. So, here in the MVC, actually, we didn't need to specify some uh, other things when we use like some uh, a parameter after the action method. So our action method is named details. We need to do here, as you can see here, store details file. We need to do some um, extra work to embed, make it know that this is an ID. If you have a method here, and it has a parameter named ID, MVC keeps anything after the action method name as ID. So now, as we have seen the browse and the details, we are going to be that done for this uh, section. In the next section, we are going to talk a little bit more about the view and make uh, our 
show us some uh, more enhanced views in HTML, actually, not just in, uh, like words like here or something. Right? So that's it for this uh, section. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in another section.